Hi, my name's Andrew, welcome to High Road. In today's episode I'm going to show you all the gear and all the backup gear I took with me on a recent overseas gig. To cut a long story short, it was two guitars, two backpacks and a little bit of extra gear that I had to put in my suitcase. The gig itself was actually a New Year's Eve gig at a resort in Fiji. Uh, a lot of resorts in Fiji will hire Australian musicians to come and provide the entertainment because a lot of their guests are actually from Australia or New Zealand or other Western countries where they, they kind of want to hear what they know. So most of these gigs that we do over there as a duo, by the way, um, are just acoustic gigs. And for the New Year's Eve gig, when people want to get up and dance, we do actually do some backing track stuff. And that's what the electric guitar is for. So let me take you through all the gear. Okay, let's talk about the acoustic guitar first. This is my main acoustic guitar. It's a Mayton 808 cutaway. Uh, it's actually the Michael Fix model and it's been heavily modified. The thing that makes this guitar a lot different to others is that it's actually had an extra output jack fitted and an extra wiring input inside here because I can get an electric guitar sound from this acoustic guitar. So as well as functioning like a normal acoustic guitar, now uh, I can put this little, I've got a sound hole uh, feedback buster and I can plug this cable into a little jack inside inside the uh, body of the guitar, slide this in like that and I can actually get both electric and acoustic tones from this guitar. So this actually serves as a backup to my electric guitar if I ever need it. I also take with me at least two spare sets of strings, sometimes three, guitar strap, truss rod adjustment tool, and uh, a few other sort of some spare batteries and things like that so that um, if anything went wrong with that I've got enough supplies that I can make do. I should also mention that the reason why this electric pickup works so well um, on this guitar is because I use electric strings. Um, you might think that's crazy, but I actually had this guitar set up for electric strings because that's what I prefer and it works really well with this pickup and sounds fantastic plugged in. Um, if you've heard any of my performance videos, it's always been with these strings. Now for the electric guitar. This is a Woolmouth Telecaster that I had put together. It's quite unusual in that it has a Floyd Rose which immediately makes make some people hate the look of it. It's actually a fantastic guitar. The other thing that makes this guitar unique is that it has um, piezo pickups in the bridge, which means I can also get an acoustic sound from this Telecaster. Um, and like my acoustic guitar, it's got two output jacks. One is for the acoustic sound and one is for the electric sound. So in a sense, both guitars can do both jobs of acoustic and electric, which means I'm completely covered. I've got backups for everything, just in case something goes wrong. Inside the case I've got a guitar strap, spare strings, and on the back of the headstock I've got a couple of spare Allen keys if I need them. Spare batteries as well as I've got an um, active system in this one. Right now for my main gig bag. This has got all of the um, pedal gear that I need for the gig. First of all I've got a little fold up guitar stand from Hercules. These are really cool. Put that to one side. At the heart of my pedal system is a Line 6 HX stomp and a controller pedal for that which I mainly use as a volume control. And a Ditto X2 looper. That's pretty much the heart of what my system and what I use. And I've got all the cables that I might need, power supply, and uh, in here I've got an iPad charging cable and a really long 2 meter lead in case I need to um, charge my iPad at a gig. In the front pocket of this bag I've also got my iPad which I use keep all my sheet music on. There is one other thing I've got in here, which is a little block of wood, which you might have seen in one of my other kick drum videos. 
uh, sorry, my foot drum videos. Uh, I'll show you why I use this in a sec. So that's essentially an empty bag. Actually, I, I do keep a snack in there as well. This all comes to about six kilos, by the way. In my other backpack, I have my kick stomp pedal. So the way I tend to arrange these on the floor Oh, it's actually like that. Just like that. So I lean my heel on here and I can hit that with my foot to get a kick sound. Um, my looper controls are nearby. This is nearby and when I need to change sounds I can do that with my toe as well. So kind of everything I need is in this one little area. The uh, power supply cable, this is actually the Line 6 standard power supply but I've rigged up a Y cable so that I can run, um, normally this would just go straight into the back of the HX stomp but I've rigged up a Y cable so I can actually run the HX stomp and the looper off of the one power supply which is really good. So in my backpack I have, uh, this is an iPad holder, which I can use to mount my iPad onto a mic stand, and it attaches to the mic stand with another part which I'll show you. But those are very, these are very light, I can't remember the, I think these are, the brand is Extreme, and they're, they're quite light. Also in my backpack I have, this is where I start getting into backups now. I have a backup HX stomp with all the same presets on it. So if something happens to this HX stomp, I have a complete backup for it. Every single setting, every single preset, it's all right there. So if you're overseas and something goes wrong, that's not good if you don't have a backup. I have a backup iPad holder because same thing. I have a backup looper. Admittedly, it's a, a slightly different one. I, I haven't been able to um, get hold of a, a second ditto, so that's just a, a roll and loop station, a boss loop station, I should say. I also take this with me. This is called a stage bug. It's a, um, a, a signal isolator. So if you get hum or buzz coming through your system, this, you can plug your signal into this and out the other end and do a ground lift, um, which will usually get rid of the buzz and the hum. And in fact, on this gig, I, I did actually need to use that. Uh, next thing in my backpack is a spare iPad. I wasn't kidding when I said I'm mad keen on <laughs> backups. So this is a whole, whole nother iPad fill uh, completely identically with the same charts, same set lists, same everything. Because if my iPad went down, I think I'd be a bit stuck because I've got about 450 songs in my list and that's just too much to have from committed to memory for me. Okay, next thing we have, spare cables. Spare iPad charger, some in-ear headphones just in case I need them. Actually they're more for rehearsing than anything else if I'm in the hotel room. Uh, I've got some iPod headphones there again for rehearsing. And I think we're about covered. Oh okay. This might seem a little strange but I bought these little battery powered fans online. I bought two of them, one for me and one for my duo partner, because in Fiji it gets really hot, really hot, and we're playing outdoors, and last time I did this gig, I really wish I'd had something like a little fan. So this is a clip-on fan that clips directly onto your mic stand with a great big, I don't know if you can see that, great big clip, and you've got speed control on the back. You can angle it any way you like, and um, that turned out to be a lifesaver. 
So that's not <laughs> essential, but for me it was, I was really glad I had that. So now there's just a few extra things. These are the items that I could not carry with me. Oops, shift these to the side. These are the items I simply couldn't carry with me in my two backpacks because I'd run out of weight restrictions. You're only allowed to have seven kilos per backpack or per piece of carry-on luggage. So this went in my checked luggage. First one is a roll of gaff tape. As musicians, we all know you don't go anywhere without a roll of gaff tape. Unfortunately, you cannot take these as carry-on luggage in a plane because they're considered a weapon in this post 9-11 world that we live in. You're not allowed to take gaff tape on the plane. So that had to go in my luggage. Next thing was um, a backup power supply for my HX stomp and a standard little power supply that would have powered either the, of the loopers. So spare power supplies. These little metal brackets are actually, they go with the iPad um, holders. And I brought two of them again, one as a backup. So these are just, they're made of metal, they're quite sturdy and I just couldn't, a bit heavy, so I couldn't fit them in my backpack. And uh, the last thing is this little pencil case, or it's actually a microphone bag, where I keep all my picks and capos and guitar tools, some extra batteries, um, nail clippers and pens. So that's all the gear I took with me on this trip. You could say that this is two entire rigs, or one main rig and a backup rig, um, but when you go overseas and you're kind of stranded on an island resort, if you don't have a backup for something, that's it, the gig's over. Uh, let me know what you think of this setup, if you think there's anything I've forgotten, or if you think there's anything here I probably didn't need, let me know. See you in the next video.